Good morning, friends. Welcome to the next practice session of geometry. This is our session number five. This session is very helpful for the students who are going for SSC pre and mains examination. Myself, Adinesh Miglani. You may connect me on my Facebook at the rate Adinesh Miglani. For any query, you may send in WhatsApp at zero nine two one double five one double four three five. My email ID legalbody at the rate gmail dot com. Uh, for more videos, for regular updates, you may subscribe my YouTube channel at the rate Dinesh Miglani. I expect from you share these videos on your Facebook wall as well as with your friends, so that more and more people will be benefited by this. Let us start with the first question of this session. It is given that A of ABC is joined to the point D. D is on BC. E is the midpoint of AD. It is given that E is the midpoint of AD. Right, so I have to comment on area of the triangle BEC. BEC, because E is the midpoint of it, right? It means I can say that if this is the midpoint, this is equal to this one. If you draw a height, a line parallel to this, also divides it equally, right? What I can say, I can say that now in these two triangles, base is same, but the height ratio is one ratio two. Okay. So I can say that area of the triangle BEC is equal to half of ABC. Hence, I can say first is my answer. So here I can say area of the triangle BEC is equal to half of area of the triangle ABC. Let us have the second question here. A straight line L makes an angle of theta with positive direction of x-axis. The acute angle made by the straight line L1 perpendicular to L with y-axis is. Let us have a structure. Right, a line makes an angle of theta with a positive direction of x-axis. This angle is given to us as theta. Then the acute angle made by a straight line L1 perpendicular to L2 with y-axis. Right, it means one more line is there. This line is perpendicular on this. That is given to us. Right, we have to find out the angle made by this line with y-axis. That's our question. So what I can say, if this is theta, right, I have to find out practically this angle, okay, if I say this is theta, this is said to be 180 minus theta, right, or I can say this is theta, this is 90, this is said to be theta minus pi by 2, that you can say, now I have to comment on this angle, I can say this is pi by 2 here, it means if this is pi by 2, so I can comment on this. How? Because some of these three angles must be uh, 180 degree, right? On that basis, I can say, I can comment on this. So the theta, this is pi by 2. I know that theta is equal to pi by 2 plus this one. So this is said to be theta minus pi by 2, okay? Now, I can comment on this. So that would be taken as, because some of these two is 90. So I can say that this angle would be 90 minus theta minus pi by 2, right? Or else I can say that is 180 minus theta, right? So this angle becomes pi minus theta. Hence, I can say answer to my question is fourth one. Pi minus theta is the angle made by this line with positive direction of y-axis. Let us have the next question. As is circumcenter, we know that circumcenter is a point which is equidistant from all the three vertex. X is equidistant from sides, that's wrong. S is equidistant from vertices, that is right, right? Hence, I can say, second is my answer. This point is equidistant from the vertices. Answer is said to be second one. Let us have the next question here. A line segment joining the midpoint of the sides of a triangle form four triangles each of which. We have a triangle in such a way. This line is parallel to uh, this one, similarly this one and this one. All these are the midpoints. We can say that these four triangles are congruent to original. Congruent cannot be there. Equilateral not, isosceles not. Uh, so what we can say that they are similar to the original triangle. Why? Because these two sides are parallel. Hence, this angle must be equal to this one. This is equal to this one. Hence, we can say they are similar to the original triangle. First is my answer. Let us have the second question. Just have a look over it. In a triangle ABC, AB is equal to 10 and BC 12 and AC 14. Sides are given. Let us say this is A, B and C. 
AB is 10, BC is 12 and AC is 14. We have to find the length of the median AD. Find AD, right, apply a Polonius theorem. We know that AB square plus BC square equal to twice of AD square plus half of BC square, right? Add both, that is said to be 296 plus 144 equal to 280 square, okay? Just add it, 4, 6, 10, 0, carry 1, 4, 3, by 2 equal to AD square, right? Here I can say AD is said to be root 170, okay? Just solve it. So that is the length of AD that you can say. Okay, here we are not getting anything in these terms. Uh, just check out the calculation again. 100, 14 square 196, we have to add both. I am getting is 296. Similarly here, it is equal to uh, 144. Uh, that is uh, 12 square. Sorry, twice of, sorry, sorry. We have committed mistake here. Twice of AD square plus half of BC square. That's our formula. Our formula is, we have just committed this mistake here. Our formula is, AB square plus BC square equal to twice of AD square plus half of BC square. So this is 296 equal to 2AD square plus half of this. So you can say that is 72. Subtract here, I can say 224 equal to 2AD square, right? Now it would be 112 equal to AD square or AD would be taken as 4 root 7. Okay, here I can say AD is said to be 4 root 7. I can say fourth is my answer because the length of the median is 4 root 7 other, and in no other option I have 4 root 7 hence I can say fourth is my answer. Let us have the next question here. Just try to understand it. It is given that in a triangle ABC uh, AD is altitude on BC. Triangle ABC AD is altitude on BC. One thing is given to us AB is equal to 7 AC equal to 24 in a right angle triangle. ABC angle 90 at it. This angle is 90 degree that is given to us. Right. Now this is 90, this is 24, I guess this is 25. Pythagoras. So we have to find the ratio of the AD to AM. AD to AM, where M is the midpoint of BC. If M is the midpoint of BC, right, so let us say this is point is M. Right, I can say this is 12.5 and this is 12.5. Right, I have to find the ratio of AD. First of all, I have to find the AD here. So how I can find the AD? Earlier I told you one basic pattern for that. We can say that half of AD square equal to half of 7 square plus half of 24 square. From that I can find the length of AD. So that would be 4, uh, 576 and 49. Right, number to 625. 625 by 576 into 49 half of AD square, right, from here I can say, if you have to find AD, I just take a root here, so AD would be taken as 24 into 7 upon 25, so I can find the length of AD, one thing we got, then after getting the AD, I have to find out AM, right, so what I can say, now after that I have to find the AM also, now that, now it's a calculation process, although it can be answered, the problem here is, uh, I, it's a calculative thing now, because AD we got, AD we go to, I can, I, from here I can find the length of the DC with that and then I can find the length of the DM. Although can be answered, but a lot of calculations are involved, okay? Let us have the next question here. Area of a triangle ABC is 30, DE are the midpoints of BC and AB. So we have to find angle BDE. What is given to us? Area of the triangle ABC, right? DE are the midpoints of uh, BC and AB. BC and AB, D and E, let us meet it. They are the midpoints. It means the ratio of the sides is 1 ratio 2. I have to find BDE. It means this area is 1 by 4 of total. So I can say answer is 7.5. Hence I can say second is my answer. There it is taken that area of the triangle BD is equal to 7.5 square centimeter. Let us have the next question here. In the given figure, ABCD is a rectangle inscribed in a quadrant of a circle radius 10, right? And AD is equal to 2 root 5. Find the area of the triangle. I can easily find out. I, I just need the length. This is 10 centimeter. This is 2 root 5. I can find out by Pythagoras. That is 100 minus 
20, 100 minus 20, 80. Right, like I can say under root 80. Under root 80 is said to be uh, 4 root 5, just multiply 8 5s of 40. I can say second is my answer. Right, what is what you have to take that? Just find out AB. By applying Pythagoras, you can take it and then it could be easily answered. Let us have the next question here. In the given figure, O is the center of a circle in which OAB is 20, OCB is 50. I have to find angle AOC. AOC you have to find out, right? Now what I can say, this is 50, this must be 50, total is 50. That you can say, because this is the radius and this is also the radius. This is 20, this must be 20, hence this must be 30. Right, I have to find angle AOC, AOC is 30, sorry AOC is 60. Fourth is my answer. How? Just have a figure here. One figure is given. This point is O. O A. O B. Right. This is C. This is A B. That is given to us. Now this is 20 degree and this is 50 degree. Right. What I can say this is 50. Total angle is 50. This is 20. This is 20. It means it must be 30, right? Now, I can say that angle made at the center of the circle is twice of made at the circumference. This is 30. This must be 60. Because in the answer, I have to find angle AOC. Hence, I can say fourth is my answer. Let us have the next question here. In the figure AB is code, this is given in such a way that BC is equal to AB. Sorry, BC is equal to OB. It's given that BC is equal to OB, right? I have to find angle AOD. That angle we have to find out. What I can say? BC equal to OB. This is 25. This must be 25. One thing I can say. Right. Now, I have to find out that one. For that, what I require? I need this particular angle. Right. What I can say? This is 25. This must be 50. Because these two are equal. This must be 50. 50 plus 50. Uh, 50, plus 50. With that is 50, this must be 50, this is 25, right? Now, 50 plus 50, 100, it means this is 80, 80 and 25, 105, this is 75. The second is my answer. Although the questions are such that that, that, that have to be solved orally, but here for your understanding, I am just making it here. In this way. Let us say this is A, this is B, this is C, right? And this is O. O is, this is O. O is the center given to us. So let us, we have to make the figure on upside. A, B, C, O. This is D. This angle we have to find out. It is given that OB is equal to BC. It means this is 25. This must be 25. Now, this is external angle to this triangle. This is 50. Because OB is equal to OA. Both are the radius. This must be 50. Right? 50 plus 50, 100. This must be 80. Now, this is 80. This is 125. 105. Hence, this must be 75. Hence, I can say answer is said to be second one. Just look at this question. Suppose ABC triangle be a right angle where A is 90. ABC A is 90 degree. AD is perpendicular on BC. Let us say D. This is 90. ABC area is 40. ACD is 10. This area is 10. That is given to us. And AC is equal to 9. Length of AC is equal to 9. That is given to us. So I have to find length of BC. Right. What I can say? It is given that AC equal to 9 and area of the triangle ABC is equal to 40. So half into 9 into AB. Equal to 40. Here I can say AB equal to 80 upon 9. One thing I can say. Right. I have to find the length of BC. Okay. We have to just apply Pythagoras. Because AC is 9 is given to us and triangle ABC is equal to 40, right? It means half into because, because that must be a height, 
right the half into base into height i can say ab is equal to 80 upon 9 right in the answer i have to find bc pythagoras you have to apply and you have to answer it right or if there is any contradiction so then it uh, that would be a case of or it would be easily solved i hope so that is 9 so let us say under root of 9 square 81 plus 6400 by 81 that you have to solve it let us have the next question here in the figure a b c d is a cyclic quadrilateral triangle uh, cyclic quadrilateral a e is parallel to c d this a e is parallel to c d right a b c 92 and uh, f a is 20 now this is parallel to this one that is given to us right now what i can say here i can say that i have to find angle b c d b c d means this angle i have to find out it's a cyclic quadrilateral this is 92 this must be 90 this must be 88 one thing i can say if this is 88 this must be 88 because these two are parallel alternate angles 88 plus 20 108 this is 108 this must be 108 hence i can say third is my answer let us have the next question here it is given that om and on are the perpendiculars drawn from the code pq and rs om is equal to on we know that uh, if two codes are equal their perpendicular distance from the centers is equal in this question the perpendicular distance from the centers is given to us hence the codes are equal so i can say pq is equal to rs fourth is my answer now these are some standard questions right these are the questions which are based on your basic properties or general observations here i can say answer is said to be fourth one let us say the next question here pq is a tangent to the circle right uh, because uh, in generally o is taken as a center right we have to take prs this angle i have to find out so what i can say this is 30 this must be 90 120 this is 60 hence i can say third is my answer i hope it's clear but because we are nowhere sure that o is the center he has nowhere mentioned that right so that means we cannot say it Otherwise, uh, sometime it comes in, in our mind, but without any specific condition, we cannot say it. Right, for that, what I can think of? This is 30. This is alternate segment angle. This is equal to 30. Now, when I look at it, that is 30. So, that is equal to that one. Okay. Now, here, the answer could only be because I have to find out PRS. Although, the observation is there. Right, but uh, with the given issues, I cannot answer it now. Okay, so hence that is only possible when O is the center. So hence this angle is said to be 60 degree. PQ is direct common tangent of two circles R1, R2 touching each other externally. Then PQ square is, right. PQ is a direct common tangent. Two circles R1 and R2 touching each other externally. Okay, so I have to find the length of PQ square is. that is given to us so this would be r1 plus r2 so i know that pq would be taken as under root of r1 plus r2 whole square right minus r1 minus r2 square right so that would be taken as r1 square plus r2 square plus 2 r1 r2 and here i can say minus r1 square minus r2 square plus 2 r1 r2 that we can say now it would come uh, that is 4 r1 r2 i have to make a square of it answer is 4 r1 r2 hence i can say fourth is my answer so here we just applied the formula for direct common tangent and we can answer it the radius of a circle is 13 x y is a code which is at a distance 12 from the center very easy 10 is your answer let us say this is code radius is 13 it is at a distance of 12 by Pythagoras this is 5 the whole code length is 10 hence I can say third is my answer the length of the code is said to be 10 cm internal bisectors of B and C of triangle ABC at O BOC is 102 angle BAC right we know that angle BOC is always equal to 90 plus angle BAC by 2 
that you know right so i know boc is 102 equal to 90 plus angle bac by 2 so from here i can say angle bac is equal to 24 degree hence second is my answer just have a look over this question it's a question based on the trapezium abc is a trapezium where ab is parallel to cd A, B, C, D is a trapezium where A, B is parallel to C, D and A, B is twice of C, D. Its diagonal intersect at 2. We have to find the ratio of the area of the triangle A, O, B to D, O, C. Right, that is 1 ratio 4. A, O, sorry, that is 4 ratio 1. Why? Because uh, we can say these two triangles are similar. Why? Because these two lines are parallel. This angle is equal to this one, this is equal to this one, vertical opposite and this is equal to this one. Right. It means here I can say these two triangles are similar. Once these triangles are similar, so I know that ratio of their area would be taken as the ratio of the square of the sides. Hence, answer is said to be 4 ratio 1. Third is my answer. Let us have the next question here. In the quadrilateral ABCD, the line segments bisecting C and D meets at E. Line uh, the line segment bisectors of C and D, right? It means angle C and D they are meeting at E. So we have to find the correct association between them. Okay. Now what I can say that because it's a quadrilateral, okay, and he has not specified you anything. I have to comment on that. The line segment bisecting C and D meet at E. Right. These are the angle bisectors. One thing is given to us. Just have a make a figure here. So what I can say, let us say this is x, this must be x, this is y, this must be y. One thing we can say. Okay. And I have to also comment, so here I can say it's a triangle, so I can say this is angle C, C, E, D. I have to just make LHS and RHS. If I take A and B, A and B, the sum of A and B would be taken as 360 minus 2x minus 2y or else I can say 360 minus twice of x plus y that we can say that is a plus b right and if I talk about angle CED CED would be taken as 180 minus x plus y right now I have to make them equal that would be equal only when I make, I make twice of it hence I can say second is my answer here I can say that angle a plus angle b is equal to twice of angle CED Right, hence I can say answer to my question is second one. Let us have the next question here. In the given ABCD is a parallelogram, E is the midpoint of BC. Right, DE and AB which are produced to F, then I have to comment on that. This is a midpoint, this is one, this is one, this is two. Right, this triangle is similar, so I can say the ratio of the sides would be same. So I have to comment on AF, AF and AF and AB. Right. So if I say this is 1, this is 2, it means if this is 1, total would be 2, it must be 1, right? Here I can say AF is twice of AB, hence I can say second is my answer. How? It's a very simple thing, because I know that the triangles would be similar, so, uh, because these two sides are equal, let us say this is 2, this is 1. The sides ratio is 1 ratio 2, so here I can say, uh, if this is 1, total would be 2, and it means it must be 1, so I have to comment on AF to AB. It means AF is twice of AB, hence I can say second is my answer. I hope you enjoyed the session. So this is end to our session number 5 of geometry. Right, and uh, we are going to have few more sessions on that. Share these videos with your friends so that they will be benefited. Thank you very much.